Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Twin States News. I'm Nicole Menner. The honors continue to roll in for the Mississippi State football team as both Jeffrey Simmons and Montez Sweat have been named the Nagurski Trophy watch list. Simmons and Sweat helped forge Bulldog defense that ranked 10th nationally in total defense last season. Earlier in the month, the duo was also named the Bidneric watch list and the preseason all SEC first team. The award is given annually to the best defensive player in all of college football. Sweat coming off a season where he collected a league best 10 and a half sacks in the SEC and 15 and a half tackles for loss. And the Nagurski Award watch list wasn't the only award that Simmons was placed on today. He was also named the Outland Trophy watch list, which is given to the nation's top interior linemen. He recorded 60 tackles last year and ranked 11th in the conference in tackles for loss. Another impressive interior lineman just on the other side of the ball, Greg Little of Ole Miss, also been named to the Outland watch list. Little has appeared in every game at left tackle since arriving in Oxford two years ago as he helped pave the way to Ole Miss's 11th ranked passing unit in the country at over 325 yards per game. The MLB non-waiver trade deadline is one week out and while the Atlanta Braves will likely focus on boosting their bullpen, they may need to shift that focus on finding a starting pitcher. Their rotation has been shaken by injuries and inconsistencies with a big question mark surrounding Julio Tehran. Wrapping a two-game series with the Marlins today, Tehran entering the day, coming off a pair of strong starts before the All-Star break. But after the Braves routed Miami 12-1 last night, the Marlins' bats were blazing today. It started with this JT Realmuto two-run shot in the first, and the day ended with this three-run home run from Starlin Castro in the fifth. Tehran would give up nine runs over four and a third innings pitched. The Braves would fall 9-3, splitting the series as they get ready to welcome in the Dodgers for a four-game set and hopefully turn things around. Unlike LeBron James, his former teammate Kevin Love will be sticking around Cleveland for a while. The power forward inked a four-year deal worth $120 million with the Cavaliers earlier today. Love opted out of his final year of the contract to sign this deal. In four years in Cleveland, Love averaged 17 points, 10 rebounds on 37.7% three-point shooting. And one of his former teammates also making headlines today. How about this offer, thrown the way of Dwayne Wade? He's been offered a three-year, $25 million contract by a Chinese basketball team. The 36-year-old was on the last leg of his career and averaged just 11 points per game last season. He recently signed a lifetime deal with the Chinese apparel company and was in China for a promotional tour, so some ties there. He'll reportedly make a decision on his future in the next few weeks. And another monstrous deal today, the running back market has been reset. The Los Angeles Rams finalizing a record contract extension with star Todd Gurley worth $60 million dollars over four seasons with 45 mil in guarantees. Gurley had two years remaining on his rookie deal. Gurley's guaranteed money is the largest given to a running back and his average of $15 million per season is the highest in the NFL. The 23-year-old exploded during his third year in the league, earning him the NFL Offensive Player of the Year award and a second place finish in MVP voting to Tom Brady. Quite a bit of money getting thrown around. 